Hey man, say man, it's me the most. Yeah, it's Manny Supreme and Rob Banks. This is not no interview. This is my show right now. I got it. Don't even worry. We finna go shop. Follow me. Come on, follow me. Come on, man. Fuck with me, man. Come on, let go. Come on, let do it. Let do it. Thank you, my brother. Welcome to High 24-7. My name is George. I want you guys to take a look around and just let me know if you need help with anything. This is not an interview with me, Manny Supreme. Is there a Lil Wayne song right here, right now that you can recite word for word? If so, what is that song? Uh, three feet. I'm on it. Ooh, I'm on it. Give a motherfucker. Run up in the nigga house and shoot his grandmother. I don't give a motherfucker. Get your baby kidnapped. I love that one. But I heard back in the day when you first started performing, you used to throw up before your shows. So yeah. now, yeah. what do you do now? Do you still get that nervousness? Or so how do you prepare now for your shows if you get nervous? Throw up. Still. I throw up or I take a shit or something. I don't know. Now, I know you Broward County till you die. Yeah, but I know you've been to a lot of places, right? Yeah. So besides Broward, where's one place you could like live the rest of your life? Jamaica. Now, we know you come from a family of making amazing hits, right? Do you recall the first time you heard your dad's music for the first time? Like, I used to hear it all the time growing up. Like, one of the sacrifices that... A lot of people don't understand is like I had to grow up without a dad. You know what I'm saying? Like same way a lot of people feel like, oh, they ain't got no dad. Like, now that we got the same job, I get it 100. percent I heard his music very young, and that he's he's. I would say he's my biggest inspiration. Of that. Now we are here at Hype. What can you say is your favorite Jordan? Mine. It used to be the twelves. I'm really starting to like the fours. I like ugly Jordans. You feel me? Cause you always gonna see a nigga in these, or you always gonna see a nigga some threes. You always gonna see a nigga in some eights, and not specifically all these variations. My G, you ain't got no 18s or none, right? That's my point, exactly. Cause, and why? Because people don't really buy them. 18s, 19s, 20s, 21s. I love them types. You know what I'm saying? Even 23s. Like, I love those. Besides rap music, is there another genre that Rob Banks could potentially make music in in the future? Dance hall, that's easy. Because I speak patois. Say RPX, man. Yeah. Such a big inspiration uh, yeah. for just everything that's going now in the music scene, underground, mainstream. What can you say has been one of your fondest memories just reflected back on y'all friendship? That was just crazy. But my favorite one that I could just say off the top of my head is when, um, I think the story been told, but I think he took a bunch of ass. Like, right before he was going on stage, he was... Like just seething, nigga. I'm talking about just like looking like he went on that bitch and ripped it. I ain't gonna lie.